uh, definition of what is blockchain, what is cryptocurrency, as well as some use cases, very, very useful cases that are, uh, this, is, this is a technology that is going to bust the world um, in the next two to three years. Obviously, uh, you have not seen it, you are not seeing it, but it actually uh, exists already. Okay, let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Melvin, I'm from Malaysia, and uh, I touched a little bit on the uh, cryptocurrency when I, when Bitcoin was about 200, someone came up to me and said, hey, you need to buy this, 200 US. I said, no. Something I can't see, I can't touch, no. No government, no. No bank, no. No customer service, no. No, I'm not buying. So I didn't, okay? So I missed that opportunity, but I kept, in, uh, I kept myself updated on the technology and I took uh, some of the professional certificate in blockchain and cryptocurrencies from two of the best uh, universities that are offering this. You can also take them and also uh, another blockchain counselor that I took a degree as well as a blockchain expert. Uh, my profession, I'm a founder and CEO of Peak Global. Uh, Peak Global is a Malaysian company that is something like SCCI. We also do the same kind of function uh, as well, uh, same events in KL as well in Mid Valley, which I'm working together very close with uh, Joe on uh, how we can collaborate so that Singaporean investors can come and present in Malaysia, all right, on my platform, and to maybe expand your business in Malaysia as well. So likewise, I will bring some Malaysians here as well, and Singaporeans can present to Malaysians at the opportunity that uh, you're looking for. Maybe you can come up with some collaboration or a partnership. Okay, and I'm also a Chief Education Officer for WowX Exchange, which is registered in Singapore. It's a cryptocurrency exchange launching uh, next month. So what I do is um, I actually teach people how uh, the education part of cryptocurrency and also a little bit on trading. Uh, I don't touch trading much uh, because I burn my hands on trading. <laughs> trading is not for everyone, all right? It's a psychology game that you need to set your mind uh, uh, very, very good. Uh, I can't, I'm a very emotional person, so I, I don't trade, so I, I don't want to touch that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, a little bit of disclaimer, I like this and I say this is for education and informational purposes. So whatever I teach you, don't sell your house, your car, your cat and everything else and buy a Bitcoin, okay? Don't do that, yeah? Alright? Uh, I'm going to share 7 topics very, very quickly. Each slide, I only have about 10 seconds to go. I'm going to start off with the industrial revolution that made a great impact in our lives. If you look at all this, we miss everything else except uh, if some of you who are born in uh, below, before 1970, you might have a chance to actually uh, uh, ex um, uh, sort of like, you know, moving into the uh, IT age, all right? If you were in the 80s, you were in the IT age, you would have been a millionaire today. I, I miss that, okay? When I was doing computer science back in 1983, uh, I missed that. I, I hate computer science. It was a very uh, boring subject and uh, uh, just do one plus one, you got to do something called COBOL programming and then you got to print something like four times your height. So I gave up computer programming. I didn't do that. Okay, so we have lived today. What is today? The buzzword that you hear up tomorrow, um, today is about fintech, financial technology, IoT, AI, big data, blockchain, cryptocurrency, all these words, what do they mean? It can be very confusing to most of us. So I assume everyone here uh, don't know about blockchain, okay? <laughs> okay, anyone owns a cryptocurrency? All right, you have a cryptocurrency. Anyone? Don't knows about blockchain. No, you know about blockchain. All right, great. So I have a, 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 a partner here, okay, who knows about it. So we'll move on and we'll share with everyone who doesn't know. All right. Um. Okay. Our technology is in our hands today. Your handphone is very important. Can anyone leave home your handphone without going uh going out and leave your handphone at home? Don't bring your handphone at all. No, uh, cannot. Uh, because the information is in your hands. Everything is there, all right? So we store everything onto your handphone. And today, uh, when you walk into a restaurant, everything else, okay, the first thing you ask is, what's your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> everything else, huh? Okay, so this is a survey, and um, it's um, great. They will ask, what is Wi-Fi? It's number two, food, smartphone, and um, people will give up, all right? They will give up food. 
all right, for Wi-Fi. They'll give up sex for Wi-Fi. <laughs> Amazing. What a tap, what a uh, 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 survey right here. So it has become, technology has become a very important part of our life. All right, we can't leave it at home. I can actually at home one day. Lah. I can do it one day. One day without the handphone, I can. Okay, we try that. Okay, if we look at technology, if you missed out some of here back in the 90s, in the uh, mid 90s, and if you are born somewhere there, you know, uh, you know those days you have uh, all these great names here, Napsters, they are gone, MySpace is gone, uh, you have Windows, and then you have iTunes, and everything else evolved. As you see, technology moves very, very fast. Um, now we have the infrastructure. Blockchain is going to move extremely fast because the infrastructure is already there. Those days, internet is very slow because they haven't built the uh, C cable, you know, there's no infrastructure on it. And uh, if you use internet before, uh, you play games, you used to do those modems with 14.4 and 33.6 kind of thing, right? Noisy stuff. So, um, if you don't know, right here, Back sometime in 2008-2009 uh, when uh, Bitcoin was born and up till now you can see how much of technology has evolved in terms of blockchain and cryptocurrency. In a while I'm going to tell you the difference. Uh, there's a difference between blockchain and cryptocurrency. Okay, look at this. If you were in the IT era, alright, you just simply put up a name. This is how much it's worth today. Anybody would have thought of the names here, right? I'm sure. I'm sure you can think of hotel.com, fun.com, pawn.com, fb.com, internet.com, privatejet.com. They're worth that much. You only have to think a name, register, probably will cost you what? 100 bucks? 50 bucks? The most expensive one, if you can think of cars.com today, is worth 872 million US dollars. You see, actually, you know. Don't you think so? You actually know cars.com. If I didn't show you this, you would have. But would you have thought that it's going to worth that much? You wouldn't. Right? So back then when someone told me Bitcoin was 200, I didn't believe. So Bitcoin today is worth market value. Today should be about 5,004 US dollars, about there. Alright? So, uh, I'm going to go through the evolution of money, butter, trade, uh, gold, metal, paper, plastic card, electronic money and cryptocurrencies. Uh, electronic money today, we don't actually carry a lot of cash with us. Actually, paper money, everything is electronic, right? Your money is actually digital, actually, right? Our money is digital. Whatever your bank uh, balance is only in digital. It's never in physical anyway, all right? We're doing that already. So cryptocurrencies is one step ahead. It's also digital, all right? Whatever you own, it says you own such and such an amount, 0, 0.0 something and 1.1 something, that's all. So this is the evolution of money that is gonna move forward, all right? This is how it works, all right? Um, how do we transact money? Those days, now, today, even today, we need to go through an intermediary, which is your bank, right? Which is your bank. So Bitcoin, you don't need to. My money is my money. I can give the money to you, $1, and it's $1, and that's it. All right? That's how it works for cryptocurrencies, okay? Instead of an intermediary, you want to send your money to US, uh, send to the bank, the bank is going to charge you a very hefty fee, and then it's going to take you like, I don't know, three days, five days, six days, seven days, uh, right? That's how it works. But Bitcoin, it happens within a minute, a second. Right? You just have to scan your QR code and your money is there. I'm not going to go through this because I don't have time. <laughs> okay, the different, only difference between uh, these two is you believe it's money, then it's money. If all of us believe that uh, this is money, then this is money. Right? That's how it goes. Actually, that's money. Okay? Hyperinflation, money have a problem. Money have a problem. Um, when I first saw this, I couldn't count the zeros there. <laughs> yeah, Zimbabwe currency, I was like counting one, two, three, that's a million, one, two, three, that's a billion, one, two, three, that's a <laughs> I was going through that, and that's how money is going to evolve. All right, we live in Malaysia, terrible. All right, when I, <laughs> back in the 90s, when I was working in Singapore, I just kept all my money in Sing dollars. 
it was only 1.6 I think when I was working in Singapore at that time. Now it's what? Malaysian ringgit to dollar is 3.03, .03, right? It's three times. You see how much of money has a value of currency has dropped simply because they can print as much money that they want to. That's how your money devaluates, okay? So that shows that the Malaysian government print a lot of money. Any Malaysian here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, they print all the money and hide under their bed. Now, that's what it does. In cryptocurrency, you cannot do that. Alright, because it's a fixed amount. Okay, so if money have a very big problem, okay? Money have a very big problem. Hmm? So it, uh, your value becomes smaller, smaller and smaller. US is having a very big problem. 20 trillion. Uh, if you believe, if you look at the cycle, the trend, uh, we are going into recession at any time now, between now and the next one, two years. Okay? If you look at the cycle, it should be this year or next year. Huh? Okay? So what happens? So if you see this trend coming, so what happens when inflation comes? What are you going to do about it? There is something you can do. Okay? So you figure it out yourself. I'm not going to teach you that. So if money is created out of debt, and can only pay back with more money created out of debt. How can the debt ever be really paid in full? So you're owing someone money, you keep printing and paying and keep printing and paying, it will never end, it's going to worsen, okay? So Bitcoin was born, okay? Big bang bailed out, uh, we know that, you can read that. Uh, Pre-Bitcoin, so I'm not going to go through all these libertarian and so on, uh, you can search this. Cypherpunks, they are the ones who started this privacy kind of thing, privacy email, privacy coin kind of stuff, okay? Mm, early attempts, they were people back in the 80s tried to create a uh, cryptocurrency. It didn't work simply because, like I say, technology uh, was not there. Uh, there weren't any uh, infrastructure, really. You cannot do that kind of... Uh, WeChat payment, uh, scan kind of thing, those days you can't do it. There weren't any infrastructure for it. So all these attempts failed and uh, so how Bitcoin was born. So Bitcoin, so what's Bitcoin? Bitcoin is actually a completely decentralized digital currency, meaning no bank, no customer service. Uh, so if you own a Bitcoin, you forgot your password, there's no customer, hello, can I reset my password? No, there isn't, you lose your money forever. Okay, so uh, I have some courses that I teach you what happened to your cryptocurrency when you die. How are you going to prevent that? Right. Some people never thought of it. Actually, you can do that. There are ways that you can actually prevent from uh, forgetting your password and how to secure it in a safe deposit box or you can write a will or something like that. Okay, so uh, Bitcoin refers to a community network and software. Uh, in a, I'm just going to go through this. And most important, this person or a group named Satoshi Nakamoto back in 2008 created this thing called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is divisible to 1 over 100 million. Okay? So, what happens? Okay, I'm going to show you a, a short movie here. Very, very short about Bitcoin. Okay, very short. This is only about one minute. Revolutionary technology that enables a new way to send payments over the internet. You can think of it as an open accounting system where thousands of computers all over the world work together to track only This video tells you how Bitcoin works. Bitcoins. When you send someone Bitcoins, the transaction is broadcast to the entire network. After it's verified, it's recorded in a public ledger called the blockchain. The blockchain contains a record of every Bitcoin transaction that has occurred since the system began, and it's shared and maintained on the network, so everyone keeps the books, so to speak. Most currencies are issued by a central authority that controls the money supply. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer system, so there is no central authority. Instead, Bitcoins are issued to users who help process transactions in the network. This is known as Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin miners are specialized computers that do the work required to verify and record transactions in the blockchain. As a reward for their work, the miners earn Bitcoins and this is how new Bitcoins are released into circulation. The system is programmed so that only 21 million Bitcoins will ever exist, and as time goes by, the mining reward decreases. The result is a predictable supply that's governed by scarcity, making Bitcoin somewhat like a digital gold. It's the first currency of the internet, and everyone is free to use it. With Bitcoin, you can send any amount of money to anyone, anywhere in the world, 
as easily as sending an email. Right, so that's a very, very short thing about Bitcoin, how Bitcoin works today. Our money is in a central, a, a, a central, uh, is centralized, correct? So central, uh, pro they have a problem, yes? How much uh, Bitcoins have already been mined? Uh, 17 million. So they've got 4 million up. 21 million is the max supply. So today, Bitcoin has already in circulation about 17 million. So there's only 4 million left, all right? 4 million left. So it's going to end in uh, 2124, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be end, ending soon. So uh, there won't be any more supply, meaning the value of Bitcoin is going to go up, if you believe, if you have a Bitcoin. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the price, no prediction here, like I say. Uh, let's see, Bitcoin, first decentralized cryptocurrency built on principles of computer science, cryptography, economics. Blockchain is different, so there's a difference huh, between Bitcoin and blockchain. It's a digital ledger of transactions, publicly recorded, permanent history of all transactions immutable. Okay, simple, very, very simple. Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin and blockchain. Blockchain is like internet. Bitcoin is like a Facebook, an application, that's all. So blockchain is really big, it's like the internet. Your Bitcoin is only a part of blockchain. Okay, so that's a very simple explanation to you. It's like your WhatsApp or your Facebook. It's just an application on a uh, blockchain. So what is blockchain? Uh, uh, internet is stores uh, information. Blockchain stores value. Okay. Uh, features of blockchain technology. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, uh, cannot be corrupted, decentralized technology, enhanced security, distributed ledgers, consensus, faster settlement, and so on. And uh, there are different types of blockchains. There are public blockchains like Bitcoin. There are also private uh, blockchains that are used by enterprises as well. So uh, they use a different, uh, right here, enterprise. So uh, they are enterprise blockchain, which are currently using in the world. Uh, one of them I want to share with you later is healthcare is very important. Healthcare have a, have a very big problem in terms of privacy. You cannot share with others. Uh, you cannot share with other hospitals. You cannot share with other doctors. But blockchain has a solution for it. Okay, uh, later I will show you. So you can see uh, blockchain is already, uh, so many use cases, they're already there. So blockchain blueprint, we are actually in blockchain 3.0 already. Many, many applications is coming out. All right, it started with cryptocurrencies. Then a smart contract was born. And look at the number of uh, um, blockchain and uh, cryptocurrencies in the market. There are thousands of them, okay? If you don't know, you can search them. Ha! There are three handphones in the market actually now that runs on uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency. It has a wallet. Uh, the latest being Samsung Galaxy S10. There's a cryptocurrency wallet in it. Uh, I don't own one. I don't intend to own one. I don't know why. I think it's not stable yet. But anyway, uh, all these will come along the way. Okay, along the way you'll be. Will blockchain affect our lives? Yes, today. Look at the number of cases there, okay? Uh, property, supply chain, financial contracts, academic certificates, medical records, voting, and so on. Uh, I like this very much. charity today we donate the money to a charity organization do you know where your money go you don't actually whether it actually reach the charitable organization 100% or not we don't actually but blockchain can help that 
okay blockchain can help them i think this is a wonderful uh, thing that we could do uh football clubs are going into <laughs> Blockchain and cryptocurrency, uh, cars like BMW, Mercedes Benz, Porsche are also going into blockchain technology, but they're not coming up with cryptocurrency. So, blockchain for them is to track uh, uh, safety. Uh, uh, I like this one a uh, uh, Mercedes Benz reward coins for you when you drive safe. That means if your speed limit is 80, you drive below 80, every time you drive below 80, they're going to reward you with coins. And then you can exchange for some Mercedes parts maybe. I think they are doing it for a good cause as well. So it monitors everything else. Uh, you cannot tamper with the meters anymore. Uh, people used to tamper the meters. Uh, with blockchain, you cannot. Everything is recorded exactly the way it is. And it's immutable. You can't change it. You can't edit it. So blockchain brings a lot of good costs. Here is a fundamental part. This is the best one. I like this very, very much as well. Medical. The problem is that healthcare data can't be shared across clinics. Think about your own experience. There were times you had to pay for the same test you took not too long ago because you were in a different hospital, or worried that your new doctor might miss something critical about your health because the doctor only has a fraction of your data. Well, doctors don't like that either. So we all lose. But there is a way to fix this. Introducing Metablock. Metablock is a healthcare information platform built on blockchain technology. Through Metablock, you can effectively own and manage your medical data. Let's rewind to the hospital. The doctor needs you to take a blood test, which you completed yesterday at a different hospital. You can go to Metablock platform and grant the doctor an access to your test results from the other hospital. No more repeated tests. Okay, I'm not going to finish the video. It is actually uh, a, a, a medical blockchain, meaning you see a doctor in Singapore, you do an operation. You go to, uh, say, you flew to London and you stay there for a month, you have the same problem. The doctor in London would not know what happened in Singapore and he cannot retrieve your record, right? But blockchain can help you do that. So you can, you can show the doctor in London what was your problem? And you recorded everything onto the blockchain. So this is very useful. You can save a lot of money and um, you, you don't have to change records. So you only show what you want people to see. Privacy, okay? So example today, uh, if a police stop you and say that you're under 18, you can't go in a bar. So what do you do? You give an, your ID. Your ID will have what? Your picture, your address, your age, your birthday, and everything else that he's not supposed to see. They only want to see your age, right? So with blockchain technology, you scan a QR code, and then you can only see your age. It says certified, you're above 18. Okay, you can go in. So that's about privacy blockchain. Uh, Malaysia is already doing blockchain. Singapore is also doing blockchain. Uh, they're doing in palm oil, uh, Islamic finance, as well as renewable on energy. Uh, this one is good. I think all certifications, uh, degrees should be on the blockchain because um, <laughs> I did some of these, uh, the, the, the papers, the certifications, they are certified on the verifiable on the Bitcoin blockchain. So it says that your certificate not buy one. Uh, Okay, <laughs> you cannot buy certificate anymore. Uh, Malaysia introduced this because there are a lot of Malaysians have fake degrees. Shh. No ministers here, huh? no, huh? okay, no, huh? okay. So, um, now your degree you have to earn it, only the university can put your. <laughs> your degree onto the blockchain, so it's good. I think it's a very good cause. You can't buy degrees anymore, okay. Uh, Thai uh, National is doing a introducing a blockchain in voting. I think voting is very good. Malaysia, if you have heard of the last voting, there was a blackout. Oh boy. <laughs> Some votes was lost, the exchange, and then the transport, and then the account. You can't cheat anymore in blockchain. Huh? Okay, let me show you how this is in Switzerland, the city of Zoop. And uh, they will introduce. Blacksoft is bringing voting into the digital world voting with its blockchain powered e vote solution. Singapore should do it. Zoom. How yeah. does it work? Easily. Every citizen can go to the City of Zoom e voting portal, log in with their digital ID, previously obtained from the City of Zoom, and get a set of unique digital keys generated. Then, using their keys, they can access the open polls and vote.
And when voting is over, see and verify the accuracy of the results. Wonderful, you can vote at your home. Feature. No more queuing up. Voting in the hot sun or the rain. Anonymous, immutable, transparent, auditable by the general public, and decentralized due to no centralized body owning the data and controlling the results. The City of Zoo can now create polls, notify digital ID holders about the upcoming voting, and process the results in minutes, saving operational costs and time. To mock right, I think our voting is very good, all right? That means it's very, very, very accurate. No more cheating, no more off the light, no more, you know, duplicable kind of uh, uh, voting. Our blockchain for real estate is there already. They are breaking down our real estates into tokenization, meaning you can buy this hotel and you can buy, say, uh, 100 square feet of this hotel at a certain cost. That means you can uh, break down it into thousands of pieces. Example, uh, there are already use cases at the St. Regis in Aspen Resort. They are a luxury real estate. They're offering STO, security token offering. They're selling their hotel in token. That means you can buy, let's say, the hotel in a fraction of the amount. So uh, this is really great. I'm not going to show you the video. I'm just going to move up. Okay, 2019, what is it going to be? Um, there is a, 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 a study about our technology. If you look at it, we are somewhere in this stage. Bitcoin was 20,000 up there, all right? It started here, it went up, and then it came down all the way. So if you look at it, this is a trend, huh? this is a trend, huh? okay? Bitcoin yearly lows. Hey, if you have bought Bitcoin in 2012, it was four bucks, three thousand two. Now at the moment in the market is about five thousand five like that. Okay, it hit five thousand six earlier, and uh, look at this. Bitcoin. Look at stocks. Just look at stocks. Amazon. All right, during the high at seventy five twenty five, at the low at five twenty one, the percentage decline was ninety eight percent. Look at all the percentage here. Today, if you have bought it, you will have been a multi-millionaire, right? A multi-millionaire, okay? They drop, so you're not afraid uh, dropping to 99% also, they survive, okay? So Bitcoin did not drop 99%. Uh, uh, if you have bought Yahoo there at 238 8 bucks, right? And today, if you look at the price, you're going to be a multi-millionaire. Okay, 2019, January till now, Bitcoin outperformed Nasdaq S&P 500 and gold by 40, by 37%. Alright, this is a survey, you can find it on the internet, you can Google. Uh, the best part about Bitcoin, $194 million was moved with 0.10 Tencent fee. How much do you think the bank will charge you if you transfer $194 million to my account in Malaysia? <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy. Okay, it's going to be crazy. You say, no, 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 no. No, no way you're going to do that, right? But in cryptocurrency, you can do this. This is the best part. Uh, last night, someone told me that he wants to transfer Switzerland with 200 million uh, in Bitcoin. I said, can. No problem. Can. You can do it. All right? So they're going to, uh, they're going to buy into Bitcoin and then they're going to transfer down. I'm not going to teach you all that. Okay, never mind. In my course, I'll teach you that. Uh, 66,000 Bitcoin worth 265 million, transaction fee 44. Hmm. Try transferring 265 million to my account and see how much the bank charge you and how long it takes. This one, uh, Bitcoin transaction, um, to confirm, you need six transactions, one, uh, one confirmation is about 10 minutes, so one hour is a precise 100% confirmation for Bitcoin uh, blockchain. Okay, uh, we'll move on. Uh, Alibaba, uh, IBM, the, the, the really big firms today, banks, everyone is going into blockchain. So blockchain is different, huh? Blockchain is different from cryptocurrency, okay? Uh, New York Stock Exchange, operator call this one, bank kit here, all right? I don't know how you pronounce this. Look at the partners here. You know how big are they? They are really big. They are really big. They're doing it behind. You don't know. That is what moves the market today, actually. They are the institutions, they are the big institutions that are moving the market, okay? Uh, uh, anyone don't know this? <laughs> richest man, Li Ka-sheng, 23rd worst richest man. 
they are also part uh, of this in uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, they are targeting institutional investors. Uh, they move the price, okay? So the price of cryptocurrency is very, very volatile. The volatility is it's so fast, so quick. When we go to the toilet, you come up, you may bankrupt or you may become a millionaire. So <laughs> it's either one, okay? So let's see if that P is a millionaire P or not, or you become a bankrupt. So uh, please, if you don't know how to do it, please consult a professional to do it, okay? You need to learn how to trade and do your stop loss and things like that. Uh, brokers in Australia saying that, you know, cryptocurrencies, uh, people are investing uh, heavily on uh, cryptocurrencies. And uh, hey, check this out. Facebook is issuing their own Facebook coin. Very soon, uh, come back out and see Facebook coin. Maybe with a thumbs up. Stanford, MIT, they are the world's best top universities, they are oldest and they are also the richest because only the rich goes there. They are also investing in the cryptocurrency. I'm sure they have more professors, scientists, experts, computer experts and so on. If they know this is a scam or this is not going to work, they will not have invest. Trust me, they would not, okay? They are not just like you and me, ordinary people. They need to go through uh, a great deal of counsel and professors before they actually invest money into cryptocurrency. So I can say it's safe to invest into cryptocurrency, but not gamble, huh? Invest is different, huh? Okay? Okay, ah, <laughs> don't worry about your internet, don't work. They are building satellite for that uh, blockchain uh, technology that you can use. Bitcoin without the internet. Hey, check this out. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Uh, they are not afraid if the government shuts the internet, now they have satellite to do the translate, uh, the transfer. Hmm, very safe, huh? Wonderful, they're gonna launch all this in Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and so on. Satellite. Okay, so don't worry, government say cannot use cryptocurrency, they shut off the internet, you still have satellite to go with it. Wonderful. Thailand is really doing very good. Singapore is the uh, third largest in the world, actually, in terms of uh, cryptocurrency and um, accepting cryptocurrency. So uh, I encourage Singaporeans to actually do it. Malaysians, we have to be a problem, legal problem, okay? The government the, doesn't they have not come up with the proper guideline yet. So Singaporeans are way ahead of us. I encourage you to take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. But don't sell your house, your car, your dog and everything else to buy. Okay, don't do that. Worst money market, okay. This is only total market cap for cryptocurrency is 177 billion today compared to the rest. So think of it. You see, the top five richest people already have 420 9 billion more than the whole market cap, isn't it? So can you imagine if all this take 1% move into here? That is what the institutions are doing today. They're going to move the market, they're going to move the money, all right, into there. So that market is going to really, really big. All right, uh, myths and uh, misconception, they say Bitcoin is used for sex and uh, drugs. You mean for centuries, people never use paper money for sex and drugs or arms or, or, or terrorism? I think they prefer that. Lah. That one can hide. This one cannot hide. Eh? <laughs> this is bad. Okay? Uh, not true. Ah. Not true. Ah. Okay? They say it's 72 billion, but actually research say that it's only 14 billion. The market cap was only 14 billion. How can they accuse, uh, says that they have spent sex and drugs on 72 billion? Not true, okay? Uh, Bitcoin is not backed by anything. Well, 
Do you know US dollar is not backed by gold at all? Not anymore. Yes. So uh, President Roosevelt eliminated the gold standard in 1933. US dollar used to be backed by gold. Now US dollar also not backed by the gold. They can also print as much money as they want to. That's what it is today. Okay. So they say Bitcoin is not backed by anything. Actually, our money also not backed by anything. One backed by who? The government? No. Sign there, Kautim. Land really. You only believe in him. That's all. It's backed by him. Okay. The government. So uh, I'm just going to go through this. Five methods that you can earn free Bitcoin today. Number one, accept Bitcoin. Easy, isn't it? That's the easiest. So for any services you do, hey, we also accept Bitcoin. Like those days, you don't accept Next, you don't accept Visa, Master, you don't accept uh, 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 Grab, you don't accept everything else. Today, you add one more. You say, we also accept Bitcoin. So that's one way you can also uh, uh, increase, all right? Maybe you accept a Bitcoin today, it's worth 5,000. Uh, next year, it's going to be like 20,000. I don't know, maybe 50,000, okay? That's number one. Number two, uh, if you have a QR code, uh, you have a QR scanner, you can scan this. You can go to this free Bitcoin sites and earn free Bitcoins, but they're not giving you one Bitcoin, they're giving you 0 0.00001 for maybe helping someone to solve a, a max problem, help someone to do a, um, a, an assignment or, or anything or draw something for someone. So th those are services that you can help people and they're willing to pay you uh, in cryptocurrency. You, you can go there. Um, if you remember the internet, we used to do that actually during the internet days that you helped me, you know, I post up what I can do for you and I help you in your assignment and I help you in anything else. So there are also sites like that. So it's uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency is a repetition of how the internet was born. Okay. Uh, you can earn this also. Uh, this is really good. Uh, you have YouTube. Now they have DTube. <laughs> okay. DTube. Uh, you can scan this and then you can watch the video and you can earn uh, cryptocurrencies as well. Okay, uh, you can scan it. Um, it's great, there yeah, are lots of it. Uh, you go to Google, just find how can I earn my free Bitcoin or how to earn a free cryptocurrency. So you just watch the advertisements and. Uh, yeah, that's all. Yes, just provide your address, set up a wallet. Just you fill like the forms and all and stuff. Yes, and all. correct, correct. So you go in and play. Uh, why? Because it is free, it doesn't cost you anything, you can get burned. The only thing burned is your time. That's all. It's worth it. This is called the learning process. You need to get burned. <laughs> I'm giving you these sites to get burned. But the only thing you burn is your time. It's worth it. It's worth it. Before you do the real thing. Okay? But the real thing, you cannot afford to get burned. Huh? Number four. Hey, I love this. The gaming industry is 100 billion. I personally, I personally think that the gaming industry is going to be really, really big in terms of blockchain and cryptocurrency. If any of you play video games, right? Video games, you used to play video games, you used to score these points and then you can use these points to trade for a sword or a gun and then you can share it with someone, that kind of thing. Now, they're turning everything into cryptocurrency. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, so if you like cats, Collect the cat, breed the cat, adopt the cat. You find one male cat and one female cat, and then you get one baby cat. You can actually put it and sell for a lot of money. Crypto kitties. <laughs> this is wonderful. Uh, anyone remember Tamagotchi? You know, there's this Tamagotchi thing, the keychain thing, and yeah, Japanese thing. Every day you feed the cat, every day you feed the cat, and then it grows. But they want no money, this one got money. You must play this. This is wonderful. I think it's it's great. Uh, this is also great. Uh, games now. So next time when you see your children playing games, don't score them. They're making money, you know. Probably they make more than you. <laughs> They're actually making cryptocurrency. More money than you. All right. They can actually self-sustain and do their own education. So encourage them to play game. Lah. But cryptocurrency game. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go through this video. Uh, <laughs> In <laughs> Check this out. Crypto you have Pokemon, this one got Ethereum one. <laughs> okay? Uh, gaming, uh, it's great. Uh, I don't like the shooter game because you know the shooter game is actually pretty violent. You know, keep killing people and keep shooting, shooting, die already, still want to shoot. No, don't I, I don't encourage this, but it is one of the top games in the world. Alright? It is one of the top games in the world. And uh, this I, I like this. 
Zero X. Uh, Zero X is actually a blockchain by itself, and they have games they develop. Uh, you can play some of these games. You can go in there. They are free. It's wonderful. Uh, while you are doing your your what you call what game do you play today? Still Candy Crush lah. No lah. <laughs> Candy Crush cannot make money le. Don't play Candy Crush anymore. Stop. Any Candy Crush developer here? No ah. Um, also, uh, don't play that and who are playing Pokemon, don't play Pokemon, play Ethereum, on. it helps you to make money. It's just your habit changing playing a game, it's still playing a game, right? So during your time when you see the MRT from here back home one hour, go and play like one of these games, maybe you know you earn one very nice, uh, 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 I don't know, a hero or things like that. PlayStation is going to uh, blockchain as well. Uh, pixel by pixel is a new project that means uh, you can go in there you can draw you can draw and then you can put it up and you can make money out of it someone likes a drawing and they pay you cryptocurrency uh, really good I'm very excited about this uh, also cryptocurrency investment you can go to a site called coin market cap uh, you can see about Bitcoin Ethereum and 2,000 other cryptocurrencies inside there what their price what the price caps uh, their projects what they do you can do a Great study inside here as well, so you can buy and hold. Your uh, the in, in the cryptocurrency terms is called uh, hold on to your dear life. <laughs> that's that's what it is. They purposely spell it wrong. It's not me, ah. Huh? Okay, so um, I do certifications as well from Blockchain Council uh, in US, and um, I actually do cryptocurrency expert course for you. It's a one day course. Um, I took 12 weeks to do one professional certificate, but I'm going to teach you to do it in one day. <laughs> 10 to 6. One day, online exam, lifetime that you can access lifetime to the course, and also a certified blockchain expert course as well. This one, you need two days. One day, you cannot do it because uh, blockchain is much, much more than cryptocurrency. So if, you, if you're starting to wonder what it is, this is a very good course uh, that you can learn and uh, from there, I will give you tips, I'll tell you what to do, what not to do, how to do it right, or whether you invest or you trade or things like that. Okay, so that's me. Uh, the more uncertain you become, the more likely you are to do nothing. And as you do nothing, opportunity passes you. So, thank you very much. You can scan uh, this, follow me at Peak Academy for Blockchain. Thank you. I don't want to